Oh man, so I know that by now everyone probably already seen the knockout with Ryan Garcia and Tank Davis. Tank caught him in the second round and then in the seventh round, he delivered a crushing body punch to the kidneys. Ryan thought that he could keep going, but then he had to take a couple steps back and let us all know that Black Lives Matter and channel his inner Colin Kaepernick. Or it may have been Tim Tebow because we know he was praying to God with all that pain he was in, man. Sheesh. But now since then, after changing numbers and all the pleasantries and saying like Ryan and Tank would be cool again moving forward, Ryan has since came to his Instagram and says, it's actually sad I had a mole in my camp a rat emoji like what the fuck that's crazy but thank god it's brought to light now he continued to say also didn't mean that to come off as an excuse or anything i lost period i'll come back but i'm just shocked that part of my team crossed me someone close to me unbelievable but it's a testimony that you must be aware of anyone so what does he mean by that oh i got the answer i think but since then former olympian and five no professional sin batter Erdinet, I, I, i'm sorry i know i'm saying his name the wrong damn way but he's a mongolian boxer and he was sparring with ryan garcia and he put out this message right here saying i'm sorry to ryan hey king ryan in sparring i injured you with the body shot now you lost to tank i am sorry are you okay so it seems like the language barrier guy, that dude sound like a damn movie villain or some shit. Put your gun down. Fight like a man. But he put this right here as well saying, um, hey King Ryan, my bro, my last post I used Google Translate. The translation was incorrect and confusing. My apologies. Who is Mold? What are you talking about? I am not Mold. I don't even speak English. I don't even like Tank. I will fight him and knock him out in the future. During our sparring, I try to help you in spar Tank style boxing. I will cheering for you to win against Tank. You are a great boxer. But next time, try to learn from sparring and hopefully you will not get hit by the same punch during the fight. Good luck to you and God bless. <laughs> hey, I like this dude. <laughs> I like this dude. <laughs> Homie said, hey, you should learn, buddy. You should have learned. <laughs> But Tank Ben said this shit. Sean Zittle, senior correspondent at FightHype.com, posted this right here to remind us. He got hurt to the body before. He think I don't know that. What, what fight was that? There was no fight. Ask him. So the information was out there that he got hurt. Maybe Ryan was so locked in that he didn't see this. But it is what it is. And that's why I fought with my lady, dog. I was talking to my lady about the situation. And her response was like, oh, oh well. Well, Ryan didn't expect to get hit to the body. It's boxing. You're going to get hit to the body anyway. So it doesn't matter. And I was like, yeah, you're right. If you're injured, don't fight. But although I know, I know Ryan didn't want to back out of a fight this big. The biggest fight for both of these guys. The biggest purse. You know, these guys got to go ahead and get that bag. They're not going to back out of this one. So I understand fighting through that and thinking hoping that you had that warrior mentality to you know even if you do get hit in that spot that you could fight through that pain but it is what it is can't make no excuses i'm glad he did say no excuse i lost it is what it is but maybe this is not the mode he's talking about other than that i don't know but let me know what y'all think in the comment section below i'm gonna get up out of here though it's your boy stacy yo